So there's three obstacles, and the remainder of my talk addresses these. Obstacle number one, Shakespeare is not family guy. It's one thing for students to use their homegrown argumentation skills in a schoolyard debate with their friends about the merits or demerits of family guy and Beyonce or about whether the Chicago Bulls can defeat the Miami Heat in the NBA playoffs if they get Derrick Rose back, which by the way is becoming less and less likely, <coughs> or uh, about which platform shoes or other clothing styles are the coolest. It's one thing to enter into debates about those topics, it's quite another thing to transfer those homegrown skills of debate into a classroom debate about competing interpretations of Macbeth or the implications of urbanization or automation uh, or the present state of the economy, American economy. Many of our students, after all, won't need to be persuaded to care about Beyonce or the Chicago Bulls, but it's often not at all obvious to those students how Shakespeare or the sociology of cities <laughs> figure to matter in their lives. For this reason, instead of plunging students immediately into academic debates about Shakespeare or sociology, it's a good idea to have them first debate topics they care about and then gradually, when they've had some time to get comfortable with the practices of argumentation in our classrooms, transition from those debates, stuff they care about, over to debates about stuff we care about or our, our, uh, our teaching. Uh, George Hillux and his students call this tactic uh, they call the, the, this uh, tactic of starting with student debates, stu things they care about, gateway activities, introducing students into academic practices by first modeling those practices on topics students are already interested in or already can see the point of. In devising such gateway activities, I, I would think it's an advantage to be teaching the social sciences since virtually any subject your students care about can be used, can be viewed through a sociological or a historical lens. <clears throat> For example, take the example I've used, a debate about what they like or don't like about Family Guy can be gradually turned into a debate about how parents and children are represented in that program and in the American popular media more generally with supplementary readings and um, other materials on, uh, that move in that, that latter direction. Uh, <coughs> similarly, student debates on cars or sports teams or clothing fashions can be ratcheted up into higher level intellectual debates on the social and cultural meanings of our national enthusiasm for, for these things. <coughs>